3 Ways to Save on a Small Household Long Distance Move If you live on your own, or your family doesn't have a lot of stuff, your household move may be what's considered a small move. For our region, a long distance move takes you out of the greater Boston area. If you're moving from Boston to Miami, for example, that's a long distance move. Here are three ways you can save money when you're moving your small household a long distance. Number 1. Start planning early. Most household moves take place at the beginning or end of the month, at the beginning or end of the week. If you have enough time and flexibility in your schedule to accommodate a mid-month, mid-week move, you'll save money. Number 2. It's always a good idea to downsize. Even people who live a fairly minimalist lifestyle still accumulate possessions they don't necessarily want to keep or move. Consider your new address, and what the environment is like there. If you're moving from snowy Boston to sunny Los Angeles, the chances are pretty good you won't need all of your winter gear. Number 3. Choose a moving company that doesn't impose a minimum load charge. Money's tight during a move. Yet some moving companies insist on charging a minimum load fee, basically a penalty for not having enough stuff to fill the moving truck. You can try asking to have this minimum load fee waived, some companies will, some won't, or you can skip all of that drama entirely by choosing a moving company that doesn't have a minimum load charge. 